I suppose for you it's been a little bit frustrating because injuries have kind of humbled your progress a little bit this season. Is that how it feels? It's still you're just trying to get going a little bit. Yeah, obviously last season it was the same case, and then we uh, I think we had Cheltenham first game of the season, and just before that um, I pulled up with my hamstring, just felt a bit of tightness, and obviously muscle injuries you don't want to risk them, and then obviously the team starts doing well, and then I just find myself out of the team, and it's just hard, but hopefully. Now, like I can try and stay in the team or be in and around it. Yeah, as I say, it's difficult when the team's doing so well because I guess when you're out of the side, the last thing you want to do really is kind of go to the gap and say, "Why am I playing?" Because obviously the, the evidence is there to show. Is that where you have to be patient and try and bide your time? Yeah, absolutely. We've obviously got a big squad this season, so sometimes you're not in the squad, sometimes you are, and oh, oh, like when you're running after a game with the boys, they're also yeah. running. You're you're obviously complaining. You're like, oh, "Why am I running?" I don't want it. You don't want to do it. But you, you can't complain simply because the boys that are playing are doing so well. I think it was nine out of ten wins and we were just flying, so you have no reason to play, uh, com, uh, complain. Sorry. Mm. So. And the manager sort of said that part of his challenge in, during the winning spell in particular was obviously managing those that are out of the side because, as you say, you want to play. You know you probably can't get into the side for, for obvious reasons. You've got reserve games that you're trying your best to impress them, but ultimately, if a team is doing well, it's, it doesn't really matter how well you play, you're probably not going to displace them. Is that a case of kind of understanding the game as well? Yeah, of course. Like The players that are not playing, you have to always have the belief in yourself that you're going to get your chance. Obviously, I think we had the FA Cup game and uh, is it Papa John's mm -hmm. trophy game as well. So when you get the like games coming, you have to just be ready. But when the team's winning, you just have to stay fit, ready, and just make sure like when you get your chance, you're just obviously fit and ready. And that game at Oxford was a good opportunity for you, and you obviously won the game and, and stayed inside for the, for the Papa John's Trophy as well. Is that, is that something that you just have to, not put extra pressure on yourself, but obviously you, wanted to, you want to perform, but knowing that you've got to win in the FA Cup must have given you confidence as well? No, of course. Like when you play for this club, you have to win games of football. There is pressure every time you go out. It's, it's how you deal with it. Um, then games obviously get minutes into the people that haven't been getting minutes regularly, and obviously you need to be ready when them games come. I know you've played as a left-sided centre half before. But when you look at the system, when the three players are playing as central defenders, it must give you hope because of your natural side that you can play on that left and and give a little bit of shape and balance like the second half on, on Saturday? Yeah, I think I give something different. Obviously, I give the balance, like you say. I like to, I'm not really one just to just sit back and I like to try and affect the game. I get round if it's Butts playing there sometimes. I try and make runs past him, inside of him. I try and step in with the ball. I just try and give something different and try and help the team as best as possible. Because ultimately, when you're playing three centre-backs, you want someone to step in or, or the two wider ones to do that because ultimately gives you that extra man in midfield. Yeah, of course. We played obviously crew this weekend and they're a very good team but they only had like one recognised striker up top mm. so there was three centre halves against like one. I know they had their wide men as well mm. but they were kind of getting pushed back from our wing backs. So we didn't want three V one so one of the left or right side centre halves has to step in, mm. be comfortable with the ball and find passes forward. And, and when you come on at half time when when you're two 0 down when you look at the players that are in the squad, you must have had belief that you could probably get something from the game if you got that next goal. Absolutely. I think we spoke to, we spoke after the game on the coach and, that, and all the boys felt like, we didn't create many opportunities, but we always felt like we were going to get a goal. The opportunities, we had a few half chances, but we felt like we were going to actually get a goal and then we felt if we had got one, then the game would have definitely swung. Mm, it's strange as well when you analyse the game, the gaffers just said there that we were second best mm. uh, in, in all areas. However, Pimmy's probably had one save to make that was offside and obviously the header in the first half. So although Crew had a lot of possession, they didn't really do too much in terms of hurting us. And I suppose that's equally as frustrating because you probably felt there was a, a chance to be taken had you played well. Yeah, for sure, there definitely was. They were a good team, they kept the ball mm. well, but we didn't lay a glove on them. We were too, too soft, didn't run all over them. Um, they were good on the ball, but we let them be good on the ball. We need mm. to obviously... I think to win any games of football, you have to run more than people, you have to work hard and you have to give more heart than people and you've always got a chance if you do that. Mm. And just finally, a home game against Blackpool, obviously we don't know, what, speaking on a Monday, we don't know who's going to be involved at the weekend, but if you are, it's a, it's a, a, a real chance to try and string performances together now. Yeah, of course, like it's a league game, so it's the games you want to play in. Obviously, I've not had as much game time as possible, as much as I want, sorry. 
but I'm, I'm a very confident person and if the chance comes then I'll always be ready and try and give 100% when I play.